Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make a pizza, but what I'm actually going to do is make my own pizza sauce. You can save a lot of money just using tomato sauce or tomato paste and then just adding the spices. So this can of tomato sauce cost me a quarter. It didn't cost me a dollar or fifty. So I'm just going to, and I just eyeball all my spices, so I'm just going to tell you what I put in it and then you can adjust it and I, t I add the spices to taste so I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic and you can use fresh I'm actually growing some basil right now but I want it to get a little bit bigger so I'm going to wait on on the the fresh basil so I'm going to add some oregano leaves and some Italian seasoning. And I also add some crushed red pepper. That gives it a little bit of kick. And where is my basil? And basil. And then I also add a little bit of sugar. And that just cuts down the tomato sauce taste. Like I said, you can use tomato paste or tomato sauce. I just like using the tomato. If you want it thicker, you can use the paste, but paste, but I like the just using the tomato sauce. Stir it up. Let me taste. Mm. And that's good. I think I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And there you have the homemade pizza sauce. So I'm going to cut up some veggies. I'm just having a veggie pizza. Some onions, black olives, cheese, and see what else I can find in the refrigerator. And I'll bring you back as I build my pizza. Okay, my ingredients changed a little bit. I didn't have any onions, so I added some dehydrated onion to my sauce. And that would just rehydrate in there. So I'm going to add my sauce. I also didn't have any bell pepper, but I do have some freeze-dried bell pepper. And I haven't ever reconstituted it to see how well it works. So let me show you what I have. This is from Honeyville and it's freeze dried bell pepper and they're really good just to snack on them just like this. So what I did is I reconstituted what I did is I added water and reconstituted the bell pepper. So I'm going to add a little bit of bell pepper And I'm going to have some artichokes. A little bit of black olive. I'm not a big fan of canned mushrooms, but I'm going to go ahead and put some canned mushrooms on here. A little bit of, kind of just even this out. And I'm also going to add a little bit of tomato. This is a veggie pizza. And I grated up some cheese. I buy the block cheese and then grate it myself just with the food processor. I don't have any mozzarella so this is just a Colby cheese. kind of clumps together. 
I freeze my cheese. A lot of people, they don't say not to do that, but I buy it on sale and then I freeze it. And when I need it, I keep one thawed out at all times. And then I grate it up and just put it in a baggie. And when I need it, I have it. So I had to grate up some cheese also today. So I think that looks good right there. I'm going to pop this in the oven. I'm going to make another one, pop it in the oven, and I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like when it's done. Yum. I did want to show you this pizza before I put the cheese on it. It looks so fresh and just looks so good without the cheese. So I may just cook one with cheese and one without and see what I like best. Okay, I just pulled the pizza out of the oven and there's the one with cheese. It looks wonderful. And there's the one without cheese. So I'm going to cut these up, put them on a plate, and then we'll see what they taste like. Yum! Okay, here's the one with the cheese. I know I'm going to like this one. Probably like it better, but let's see what this one tastes like. Mmm. Oh, um, that's good. Let's taste this one. Mmm. Love the one with the cheese, obviously. But that one's really good if you're wanting to cut out some fat, then that one is very good. Love the tomato sauce. Uh-oh, what's missing? I gotta go. I gotta finish this pizza. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.